What's up guys, Miss Pass here, back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Hero Beginner's Guide, and today we're talking about daily activities. Daily activities are the great little daily goals that you have set forth before you to try and get you to actually play the game, which really, come on, does anybody really need to make us play the game? I know, right? But at any rate, great little rewards that you get for playing the game and just going through your daily routine of collecting all of your rewards. For a newer player, it's a good way to kind of get you uh, exploring everything in the game. So, obviously, there are a number of daily activities, and you may notice that some of these activities may be different from yours. Once you hit level 85, some activities go away. Once you hit level 80, some activities go away. Daily activities will change with your character level, or rather your player level. So keep that in mind. Your activities may not look exactly the same as the way they do here because this is an 85 alt that I play uh, in order to collect energy for raid tickets on days when we have character or players who are short. Uh, that's a, another discussion for another video, but well, yeah, we'll get into that. So. First thing I normally do when I get on this halt to just burn through the daily activities is a squad arena battle. Uh, the reason I do that is because squad arena battles obviously have a 10 minute cooldown from the time you start the battle. So as soon as you hit battle and get and the battle actually loads and that 5 minute timer for the battle actually starts ticking, that is the start of a 10 minute timer before you can do another squad arena battle. So obviously I want to jump in here and do this squad arena battle first so that I can start the cooldown timer on that going. Now, after I've burned through this squad arena battle, which if you don't have time to even fight this squad arena battle, you can even go in and just retreat and it will still count as a squad arena battle for you. One thing to keep in mind with squad arena battles is, like I said, achievements will, or rather activities will change with your player level. I keep saying character level. With your player level. Once you hit level 60 and unlo unlock the ship's area, the ship's table of the cantina, you will actually lose one squad arena battle requirement from your squad arena battles and gain a ship arena battle requirement. So you'll have to do two squad arena battles and one ship arena battle, which I'll be demonstrating later. After that, I go straight into the shipments, collect my three purchases. I usually just buy the gear for credits because that's easiest. After I purchase those little pieces of gear, I go straight for a Bronzium card. The Bronzium card is free, obviously, so you have to open one card from the store. Obviously, you want to open the free one because we're saving our crystals, saving our resources. This game is all about saving your resources. Resource management is key to winning the game. So, after I've unlocked that uh, Bronzium card, satisfied that daily activity, I go into one of the characters that I am farming and work towards the light side, dark side, and hard mode. The best way to satisfy, make sure that you're hitting at least three light side, three dark side, and your five hard mode battles is to find, pick a character or two that you're farming that has a light side and dark side battle. That way you know that you are going to hit the light side, dark side requirement and by cut because character shards are found on hard modes, you're going to be farming at least five hard modes as well. Next thing I knew, do is go and hit the Cantina Battles. Now, Cantina Battles will count both mod Cantina Energy spent and character farming. So if you want to do farm a character or farm mods, doesn't matter, just do three battles. Then I go and hit the challenges, knock those out. You only have to do two, and thankfully you can sim once you get to the very, very end of the game. Otherwise, you got to go and sim them individually. No biggie there. Next thing I do is make sure that I'm leveling up a mod. Leveling mods is easy. I usually try and keep a couple of garbage mods or mods that I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to get this level 15 now. Uh, I just level, you know, one or two. I, I just pick a mod, random mod, and then level it one level. You don't even have to level at a full level. You can just do the little beep, level up, and it'll, you know, move the little energy bar or XP bar on the actual mod. That satisfies the requirement. You don't have to level a mod all the way to level 50 or 15 to satisfy that daily activity. Next I go and hit the Galactic War. Galactic War 
is uh, I've got some good videos coming out soon for Galactic War tips and tricks for both veterans and newer players. So if you're interested in checking those videos out, definitely make sure that you are subscribed and have your notifications turned on because those videos will be coming out very soon. Galactic War Battles are also a guild activity. I will have a separate player guide on how to maximize your resources for contributions to your guild activities coming out separately, so keep an eye out for that video as well. If you choose to save your guild activity or Galactic War Battles, you can always just retreat from a battle and you not do it, and you'll still get credit. As I mentioned earlier, once you hit level 60, you'll unlock ships in your cantina. After you've unlocked ships, you then have to do a ship challenge as part of your daily activities. So go in, hit the sim button, grab yourself some, some challenges real quick, and satisfy that activity. Next thing you gotta do is a ship battle. Like I said, ship battles are uh, easy unless you've got a really weak uh, fleet like I do. In which case, I just jump into a battle and then immediately retreat back out of the battle. You still get credit for doing a ship arena battle, and you don't have to beat your face against the wall like I do with my little weak, measly ships against, you know, uh, much stronger opponents that just eventually beat me anyway. So, why waste my time? I usually just retreat. So, you'll still get credit, just retreat. If you don't like ship battles, because I know it's not for everybody, some people really don't like ships. I personally like ships, but um, obviously if you don't want to go and do ship battles, you don't have to. Now, I've barely edited any of this gameplay footage because I wanted you guys to see legitimately, realistically, how fast you can get your daily activities done. Especially if you are like really short on time and you just want to blast through your daily activities I've got a little crystal counter going Bear in mind that this is at level 85 you may have slightly different activities So your crystal count should be roughly the same it may vary slightly Especially if you were lower lower level and you haven't unlocked quite as many activities as a character or rather as a player who is much higher level than you are also keep in mind that shipments, collecting three or purchasing three total shipments from any store, that's any store. So if you buy character shards from Cantina, character shards from Galactic War, and character shards from Arena, that counts as your three purchases. You don't have to go and buy that gear for credits, however, that's really the best way to do it, in my opinion. Now, obviously, I still have one more squad arena battle to do. If you haven't unlocked the ships, then you'll have two more squad arena battles to accomplish. So, unfortunately, you'll have to wait for us another 10-minute timer. Now, I did obviously fast forward through the 10-minute timer. I didn't want to, you know, sit there with you guys staring at the clock just ticking down. To kill the time, obviously, you can take a break, go do other stuff. I mean, obviously, there are things to do outside of this game. Or you can go and do more Galactic War Battles, or go and do more actual battles in your Light and Dark Side, or your Cantina, or whatever you want to do. You know, you don't have to use sim tickets on battles, so if you want to save your sim tickets, you can go do battles on any other node that you want to. So, there are ways to kill the time between the squad arena battles, each uh, each individual battle. So you can go ahead and uh, take care of those other things that you do throughout the day, throughout your game, and then come back later and do your squad arena battles. Now, if you, like I said, haven't unlocked ship arenas, then you're going to have to do three total squad arena battles. So keep that in mind. But generally, you can burn through all of your daily activities with minimal effort and realistically only about 15 to 20 minutes of total time committed to the game. So if you're really short on time one day and don't want to spend forever doing playing the game, uh, you can still get all of your daily activities, collect all of those bonus crystals, and make out like a bandit for all intents and purposes with little more than you know 10 to 15 minutes of total time played in the game each day which realistically when you think about you know other games that have daily activities or stuff like that there are games out there that take much more time out of your day to 
just get your daily activities, get your daily bonuses done. Um, I'm playing Force Arena every once in a while, and the daily activities in that one, you can spend half an hour and still not even be done with all of your daily activities. Daily activities do give different rewards once you hit different levels. The daily activities completion at level 80 gives you an Omega. Once you hit level 85, you get the prize box that has crystals, credits, and gear in it. So that's really, really, really nifty. The most crystals I've seen drop from the prize box is 100. Now, if you do all your daily activities, granted this is at level 85, it may be a little bit different at the lower levels, you'll get 60 total crystals just from doing your daily activity. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> I mean, 60 crystals every day is a pretty sizable amount. That's almost as many crystals as you get from the crystal subscription pack. So, I mean, you can do the crystal subscription pack and almost double your crystals every day. And that's not even with completing the Galactic War. If you do your Galactic War every day, then, you know, you're going to be raking in a pretty decent amount of crystals. And that's also without even taking into account squad arenas. So, the, the, the developers did a really good job of making the crystal supply in this game actually fairly good so as a completely free to play player if you are able to rank fairly high in arenas you can actually rake in a decent amount of crystals every day which is pretty good for a premium currency not many freemium games have that level of uh, a premium currency available to the players so that's really nice to see and in all honesty it's actually one of the main reasons that I continued to play this game after I started it. I started playing this game and realized that, hey, I don't really actually have to spend a whole lot of money to actually have fun, actually earn crystals and currency, and it's a lot of fun. It's a very addicting game, and they did a very good job of balancing the resource allocation and the resource um, earnings in this game. So. That pretty much sums up my daily activities, guys. Um, if you got any tips or tricks for other players, definitely leave them down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for any other beginner's guides, uh, please let me know. I do plan on doing a Galactic War playthrough tips and tricks for new players, a Galactic War playthrough tips and tricks for veteran players, and I plan on doing a Guild Activities guide so if you have any other suggestions aside from those topics please toss them down in the comments below and i will try and get to those as soon as i can if you missed my last beginner's guide you can click the annotation on screen to be taken to that otherwise as always thanks for watching guys like favorite subscribe follow me on facebook and twitter join my discord server to continue the conversation and i'll catch you guys later